Hi guys, it's Salston. In this video, we are going to take a look into Meta AI, which is a chatbot with Llama 3.0 powered. I'm going to give you a full introduction on that, use cases, model details, comparison, and finally, I'm going to show you how you can use it for free. Okay, let's go into the video. Welcome back. So Meta is the parent company of WhatsApp, Instagram, Messenger and Facebook and Mark Zuckerberg is CEO and founder and he did announce about Meta AI and Llama 3. But even if you haven't heard about it, if you are already using some of these apps, you would have noticed some AI uh, functionalities within this app. Everything is related to this because Meta AI just announced Llama 3 which according to them is their most capable large language model. And Meta AI is currently like a direct competitor to chat GPT, chat style window because it is available on a similar interface which you can go out and start using it for free. It is compared with something like Gemini or Microsoft Copilot and this is a model of Meta uh, coming into the market right now. Anyone can use Llama 3 currently with uh, free for free and if you have a Facebook account, it will save your history and retain your history so you can go back to your chat. But still one important point, still not available on all the countries. So if you are seeing some messages that you are unable to access the chat or the meta AI, all you need to use is simple VPN, it will give you access to that. And, and Meta also mentions that it is going to keep on rolling out more support for more countries very soon. So you might uh, see the support uh, accessed directly to the Meta AI very soon on your end as well. Now let us take a look into the use cases. According to the uh, Meta AI Llama 3 model, these are the use cases which they are mentioning. For example, asking for advice, brainstorming, classification, closed question answering, coding, creative writing, extraction, inhabiting a character or persona, open question answering, reasoning, rewriting, summarization. So it is almost like a basic explanation of all other chat uh, AI model uh, chat options available for you. So these are the key usage cover which they are doing. So you can simply write and generate text like chat, GPT, Gemini, Claude, Microsoft, provided with this. You can ask any sort of text questions and it will answer this as for you. And one more cool thing with uh, Meta AI is that it is unique feature also. It can generate image. Uh, because it's it's like chat GPT so it can generate an image but the cool thing is you can animate those image so it's not deep animation or very complex animation in nature it is just a simple one to two frame moving but still in a AI space it is a unique features offered especially for free you don't need to have a pro account or anything like that so you can write generate text and you can generate images, edit images, and also animate those images as well. And also you will see this uh, not just uh, through a chat window, as I mentioned, you will see these AI functionalities throughout the meta apps for you. It will be available maybe via feed, chat, when you are searching for something or accessing various features within these apps. And also final important point, Llama 3 can also have access to the internet. So any questions you are performing which is not on their knowledge, uh, cut uh, within their knowledge, Llama 3 will automatically search the web and give you information based on that as well. Okay, now let me give you some model details for you. Because Llama comes in three different, uh, sorry, Llama 3 comes in two different size. One is 8B and another one is 70B. 70B is the most recent one and what they are saying is the most capable one. If we see the model release date, it is April 18, 2024. This is the comparison between the both of this model. One takes 8B parameter, another one takes 70B parameters. If you see the contact length, context length is 8K, which means it will be able to understand 8 character or token when replying to your query. So you can put up to that amount of context length, still a bit limited to the other models available on the market, but still it is a big size for Llama currently right now. Another important thing to note here is the knowledge cutoff time. 
This is the data which they have fed into this AI. So they know these data by built in up to this point. So the 8B model has the knowledge cutoff date of March 2023 and 70B model has the knowledge cutoff date as December 2023. So these data are showing the model uh, size for us available. Now quickly take a look into the comparison. First, this is not an in-depth comparison in my view. What I have done is I have taken the comparison which Meta themselves have done for this Llama 3.0 model along with the competitor what they are claiming. From the initial perspective, what I am seeing is they are comparing the 8B model to a similar set of open source uh, free available model like Gemma and Mistral and also they are comparing 70B with other similarly sort of models available to them to be more competitive what I'm seeing is because they are comparing against Gemini Pro and also Claude 3 Sonnet. What they are not comparing is uh, not against Chat GPT 4 or they are not comparing it against Claude 3 uh, Opus model or something like that. What uh, makes me to think in this comparison is they are trying to be competitive by comparing them to a very similar models which they can uh, probably beat on most of the occasion. They are not actually testing in this against of market leaders in my mind. In my mind when I see LLM models the market leaders are currently for me personally chat GPT-4 and also Claude 3 uh, Opus which they are not comparing it. So still from my perspective it is fairly very behind of these models but maybe in future these can change and this is the comparison right now for it you can see the all the parameters available for it i'm not going to go into this in much more depth now let me quickly show you how you can start using it meta ai first point not available throughout the world as i mentioned you can use vpn or proxy to access it in case if you don't have access in order to access the chatbot of meta ai all you need to do is open any web browser and go to meta.ai and you can see straight away i don't have access in my country this is a easily fixable solution for me because all i need to do is just use a VPN from any countries which is available. So I'm going to do just that now. Okay, now I have connected to VPN. Let me refresh this page, you can see. And now I have access to the chat screen. This is the Meta AI chat screen. We have two different ones. We have the chat side here. And if you see, we also have a imagine side here to create images and animate images. The conversation first they have given us several ideas if you are not familiar with chat gpt or microsoft copilot or any gemini pro you will see a very similar interface which is very easy to use uh, start using it you don't need to learn a new interface or anything like that all you need to do is similarly come here and you can ask anything you want for example maybe i'm giving some uh, command like this and based on it it is going to be generating content for us uh, you can have uh, so many various different types of uh, conversation here it is not limited to something you can ask about writing blog post asking advice as i mentioned the use cases they have given 12 different use cases so you can use that to test it out you also can give feedback on their response maybe it can be used to improve their uh, quality of the output they are providing and also you have the option to click on this to copy to clipboard so that is the chat side of it you can experiment on your own because the use case is going to be different for everyone so that is conversation now the next part is called imagine imagine is where it is going to be generating uh, image style images for you with the option to edit and animate that option for you so i'm going to show this as well for example, all you need to do is come into the ima imagine side of this and type something like imagine. So I'm just giving a very basic command right now. J I just wanted to show you the what it can do, how it can edit these things. So that's why I gave a very basic one. So I have given a person riding motorcycle and it is generating around four different images for me. You can see it has a cool uh, 
little interface here as well i have the option to go to expand and go into full screen mode here when i do that i can see this much more clearly it is giving me the prompt here it also gives me a various different option for example i can view this into different things so these are the uh, images it generated if you notice of if i when i click on any of these images i have the option to regenerate or edit this image so if I am seeing this image here maybe I'll click on edit and it's asking what changes you would like to make so I might give something like a uh, black motor cycle in L station maybe something like that so what I have done I've given a prompt to the uh, image imagine model and now I'm actually editing that prompt while I on the go so you can see automatically it created a new prompt based on my requirement a person riding the black motorcycle in hill station and now you can see the images are very close to what i have asked a black motorcycle and in a hill station so you can see understand and maybe i can go this uh, much more depth in this case what i am trying to convey to you is that its ability to edit the prompt as we go and generate much more customized one and you can see now the prompt got edited again a person riding black motorcycle in illustration in early morning and the image is actually correct in this case also you can see that image got regenerated here so we have the previous prompt also here and the more the latest generated one here as well so if you see the previous one now let me show you another cool thing one we can report this here as well in case if AI misbehaves or something like that the next important thing is you're going to be the animate button so if i'm clicking on animate button what it will do there is no involvement involved just with the click of the button it will create one to two frames seconds of animation of the images we created so you can see here this uh, bike is moving forward here this is also moving at uh, this side so the animations are very simple but something unique to be honest because I did generate uh, maybe I'll show you another example because I did generate uh, something a different image called pirate uh, watch and you can see I tried to generate a private uh, pirate on a ship and this animation was really cool for me because I uh, let me show this the IDM pop-up is coming out and you can see this is generating the image it actually created the waves moving the images and walking mo uh, waves moving ship moving and even the birds moving on the background and everything so that is what the imagine capability of meta AI still on an early stage but still it's cool for this amount uh, of development and for free also you don't need to pay to access this thing with this you can create cool little animation for one to two frames second for a meme or a social media content or anything like that but still it's on a right uh, of track uh, to be honest and you can also download the image anytime you want as well so next we'll take a look into the future we already started using the platform you can also go out and use the platform i will leave the link in the description future what meta is saying about meta ai chatbot in llama 3 in coming months meta expects to introduce new capabilities for this long context window we already see the context is about 8k they are planning for longer context video additional model sizes currently it is 8b and 70b they are planning for more additional model sizes enhancing performance and while sharing their llama 3 research paper and more details on open source and partnership because llama 3 is an open source model so it is completely free to build application based out of it and also they did mention llama 3 will be supported soon on cloud software platforms like aws databricks google cloud hugging face and lot more and also planning to uh, probably in hardware platform like amd aws dell intel and lot more so still in a very early stage just two days ago it got re released and lot more development will be coming out on open soon and meta is officially entering into ai race as well with all its biggest competitor like microsoft google open ai all this space so very exciting future in ai industry do let me know what your thoughts on this have you started using it what you are liking and not 
once again thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you in the next video cheers